I should have seen it coming. This is Lucy. Lucy was first in line for a promotion when her bank bought out Borrowers Building Society. The bank's mortgage book more than doubled within 24 hours, along with Lucy's responsibilities. Before the acquisition, Lucy was on it. She had ensured the bank was cautious towards new mortgage applications, and that she knew her risk profiles inside out. But now, with all the extra work, she was busy, busy, busy. She had assumed the bank's risk and compliance team would have a handle on the acquisition. After all, risk management of legacy loans was their job, right? Wrong. When the new mortgage business came in, Lucy focused solely on the potential for growth. She didn't focus on the legacy risks. She hadn't carried out a formal risk assessment of the new business. She never made a plan for managing problem loans. And she didn't consider whether the risk management framework was still fit for purpose. Nine months after the acquisition, an internal audit report raised serious concerns about the quality of the inherited loans. However, these issues were not escalated or fully addressed. Lucy had failed to recognize her responsibility for the bank's changed risk profile and had failed to get a handle on it. The bank had acquired a large amount of low-quality loans, so-called subprime mortgages. It hadn't reserved adequate levels of capital to cover exposures and didn't realize the extent of the problem until it was too late. One year on, external auditors saw the internal audit report and investigated further. The bank was left with a significant capital shortfall, which threatened its solvency and required an injection of capital. The regulator had to be notified immediately. Following a lengthy enforcement investigation, the PRA fined Lucy £135,000 and banned her from holding a similar role in the future. growth by acquisition and subsequent internal audit should have been huge red flags to Lucy. There are three things she should have done differently. One, carried out a reassessment of the risk management framework. Two, taken proactive steps in response to the internal audit report, ensuring actions or recommendations were implemented and serious issues are escalated. Three, recorded every step she took, meetings she attended, and issues she raised. Proactively manage risks. Don't become a cautionary tale.